see, uh, disappointment comes from expectation. So when a black male engages a black female in an intimate relationship, first of all, you have to have it in mind, this is not going to be nowhere near what it ought to be. You've got to have that in mind. Mm -hmm. So, but we are going to, you might say, hook up. All right? But it's not going to work out to be anywhere near the way it should be. Why? Because we are in an unwieldy situation. That's why. We're prisoners of war. You, we, you know, we have already been captured. So therefore, our captors will decide where we will work, what kind of roof we will have over our heads, how much money we will make, what our interactions will be on a day-to-day basis, of what kind of transportation we will have. They determine that. We don't determine that. Black males have absolutely no power, and black females don't either. We are equal partners and prisoners in the system of white supremacy. We have already been captured. We were captured before we were born. So the white supremacists determine what our so-called relationship is going to be. We really don't have a relationship. We have an arrangement. We can call it marriage or girlfriend and boyfriend or whatever. But this is an arrangement, and everything that happens in that arrangement is going to be decided by somebody who is a white supremacist, either directly or indirectly. Indirectly, right.